What's good, people? Welcome to Raw Vegan Rising. My name is Shane Sterling. How you doing? So you're interested in a raw vegan diet? You want to know more? But you love your starches, huh? You love your bread and butter and your pasta and maybe your beans and rice and you couldn't maybe imagine it. You can't imagine it because you love those foods too much. All right, stick around. Let's talk about it. So you're addicted to carbs? Welcome to humanity. We're all addicted to carbs. But let's be perfectly clear here. There's a difference between starches and carbohydrates. Starches usually have really high glycemic loads on the body. Regardless of the glycemic index, if you look up glycemic index, you'll see that like, you know, some fruits are high, watermelons high, and then some processed foods are like the same as watermelon. But if you look at the glycemic load, which is actually how much of that sugar gets into the bloodstream, you'll see that all fruits and vegetables are low on glycemic load and all starches are high on glycemic load. So if you're eating beans and rice, pastas, breads, cookies, these are the things that create sugar in the body, insulin in the body. And if you have an insulin response all the time, then you're going to be insulin resistant. Your body doesn't respond to the insulin and you gain weight and you have addictive qualities to these carbs. You're always dealing with the blood sugar spikes, high blood sugar, low blood sugar. And it's proven in studies when you eat higher glycemic food, you get hungrier, more ravenous later on, like four hours later, your hunger level goes through the roof. I've been starch free completely for almost two years. So that means I have not had any breads, pastas, grains. Um, we're talking processed grains. I can have a little sprouted grain here and there and sprouted legumes, um, but no processed foods, no crackers, you know, Nothing, nothing that is a processed starch. So I've been starch free. And I'll tell you, the energy levels are magnificent. The energy levels are so much higher on the fruits and vegetables because you never get that blood sugar spike. You're never dealing with swings in your energy and your mood. It's like a constant even keel energy. That's what everybody wants. Everybody wants this constant, even keel energy. So we pop out of bed in the morning with energy. We go to bed at night with energy. So how do we do that? What are the ways that we break our addiction to carbohydrates, eat more raw fruits and vegetables, and possibly even eat a 100% raw vegan diet like I do? So how do we do that? Well, the first thing we have to do is just to cut out the processed food and eat more fr fruits and vegetables. Now that takes willpower, it takes strength, it takes conviction, it takes why you're doing it. You gotta know why you're doing it. Most people probably come to this video because they wanna lose weight, but losing weight is never gonna be enough of a reason because when it really comes down to it, at the end of the day, health and weight is a selfish reason. It's like just self-focused. It's like, I wanna look better, I wanna feel better. But you know, depending on your self-worth level, depending on how much you love yourself or hate yourself or talk down to yourself in your own internal thoughts, you might never get over that one. You might never have the self-worth to stick it out long enough to truly create vibrant health in your life. So then, you know, you get on a health kick, but you fall off right away, you know? People don't make it on health kicks very long because they haven't addressed the emotional issues. Most people are eating processed foods and um, you know high sugar foods, high glycemic foods because they're you know needing to fill some emotional void. You know we have emotional um, you know we have emotional deficiencies. We all do. We've been traumatized. We've been abandoned. We've been abused. And one of the way we make up for this is that we eat emotionally so that we can't really feel our pain. That's all we're trying to do is get away from our pain. You know, so really we have to address the emotional issues. We have to address the emotional issues probably first. And how do we do that? Well, it's like a catch 22, you know, eating a healthy diet improves self-esteem and self-worth and self-discipline, 
but how do we get the self-worth and self-discipline to start a healthy diet? Well, I think that exerting a little bit of willpower, exerting some belief in yourself, and just cutting out the processed foods and starting to eat more raw fruits and vegetables is a really good way to go. Because eventually, the raw fruits and vegetables will just take over the work. You don't have to even think about it. You just eat the right food and it's gonna automatically invigorate your body, light your, light your mind up, you know, your heart connection expands. You know, the waste starts to come out. Mucus will drip out of your head for months on end. That's what most people experience. Until you clean out. Then your brain feels clear. You know, your heart feels clear. Then you actually can actually, you know, feel the, the reason why you're doing it. Maybe you want to do it because, you know, you want to show up for your grandkids or for your kids, you know. Or maybe you want to show up for some some you know, service work in your community, something that's bigger than yourself. When you get com connected to something that's bigger than yourself, that's when you're gonna really have a easier time staying committed to a healthy diet. You know, we need something to motivate us to get out of bed in the morning. It's not all gonna just happen because we want it to. We gotta find a reason to be motivated, something that we're working on, fulfillment and purpose in our life, you know, Purpose and service creates fulfillment for the human, you know, psyche. We have to be working on something meaningful in our life to have purpose and to feel like we're creating value and adding value to the world. It's really important. A raw vegan diet does that. A raw vegan diet starts to make us feel like, wow, look at how down and out everybody is. Look at how unmotivated everybody is. If they could only understand what it's like to feel so invigorated on fresh living foods, you know, we could get out of all these problems we're in. You know, that's a pretty big motivation to want to help people, help people get up out of the crap lives they're living. Also, you got to really address your anxiety issues because until we, you know, feel at peace or calm or rested, you know, well rested is another one, then we're gonna always be chasing that like energy spike. We're gonna be chasing that high sugar, high glycemic, high insulin spike we get from starches, you know, like breads and pastas and crackers. And if we were emotionally trained as children to always turn to these spikes in our blood sugar to, to make us feel safe, then that's what we're gonna do as adults. So we have to, in the moments of anxiety, we have to really come back to our center. We have to make sure we're well rested, well taken care of, you know, exercise, self-care, meditation, breathing techniques, visualization techniques, vision boarding for our life so that we know what our next goal is. You know, all of these things can help eliminate or reduce anxiety at least so that we can have the bandwidth to think about making a better health choice. If we're always in reaction to everything around us, all the anxieties of life, which are never gonna go away, then, you know, then we're never gonna be able to have the, the bandwidth to make healthier choices. So that's a big one. Calm the anxieties, calm the nerves. Raw fruits and vegetables calm the nerves. Raw foods calm the anxiety, you know, starts to heal the adrenals so that we have more energy, more serotonin, so we feel better, you know, and those all start to play together to where we can start to, you know, feel that peace, calm, connected, and then we feel more entitled, more capable, more willing to make better choices and turn to fruit instead of crackers you know, or a salad instead of pasta. You might be thinking to yourself, well, I've tried to eat only raw fruits and vegetables and I'm starving to death. But, you know, we haven't addressed the fact that we can't just give up foods. You got bacteria in there that are used to eating these foods, used to eating these hard car high carbohydrates. And you've got an entire gut microbiome that is ad adjusted to that type of diet and, f and food. And when you stop, it's the bacteria are going to cry out and that gut brain connection is well established in science. All the hormones that are produced in the gut are the same hormones that are produced in the brain. And those bacteria know how to send signals to your brain telling you, controlling you to choose certain foods. So we have to just overcome that one way or another. 
and you know, eating the raw fruits and vegetables is going to slowly change that gut microbiome and it's going to start to change the hormones and the chemistry in our body and then it changes our cravings and our thoughts and our impulses and what we're, you know, being told to eat from our gut bacteria. The whole goal is retraining your brain, retraining your gut brain connection and retraining the bacteria that live inside of you to crave the healthy foods. And if you're not, you know, changing that dynamic, then you're still going to crave the the, the starchy foods like having artificial sweeteners or sugar substitutes of any kind isn't is still going to fool your brain into thinking you're going to get that glycemic load. You're going to get all that sugar into the blood. So it doesn't start to retrain your body in the right way. So I say avoid the artificial sweeteners or sugar substitutes as a way to break your addiction to starches, but really turn heavily to the raw fruits and vegetables and don't limit your fruits and vegetables. If you are hungry and you're craving your normal carb dinner or you know your bread or your pasta, turn to fruit, bananas, eat tons of them, eat grapes, eat dates, eat peaches, eat watermelon, whatever's in season and don't hold back. Eat as much as you want. You can't gain weight on those, those foods. You can gain weight on fat, but you can't gain weight on fruit. You can eat as much fruit as you can possibly stuff in your face and you will never gain weight. As long as you keep the fat slow, you know, those sugars don't require insulin. Those sugars in the fruits have a very low glycemic load on the body. It's all natural, whole food with the water, minerals, enzymes, everything, just as mother nature creates it. Perfect for the human body. So keep your eyes on the prize, people. Keep your eyes on what the goal is. What is the goal of going raw vegan? What's the goal of breaking an addiction to starches and processed carbs? What's the goal of that? If you don't know what your goal is, you're never going to achieve it. And I'm telling you that I don't think weight loss or health is enough of a goal. So get connected with your big vision, your big mission. What are you doing here on planet Earth? What's your mission? You know, why don't we spend some time with ourselves being loving, quiet our minds, do a little walk on the beach, a little meditation, a little visualization, do some breathing exercises, breathe in some light, you know, focus on the breath. Quieting that mind can really help you understand what your purpose is if you focus on it. And if you ask, you know, maybe you need to ask. We always forget to ask for the things we need in life, you know? Maybe we need to ask our higher self, our guardian angels, God, whatever it is, you know, our deceased relatives or loved ones on the other side. What is my purpose here? What am I supposed to be doing? How can I help? How can I be of service to others? What am I supposed to be doing? We're never going to be fulfilled if we're just trying to pursue weight loss and feeling better and not trying to be sick. You know, healing our disease is fine, but man, there's a lot more past healing our disease that we got to get to in life. You know, we're not just here to heal our disease. We've become diseased because of our darn cooked food, processed food diets. Now let's get on the raw fruits and vegetables and figure out how we can show up for the world. How can we make a difference? That's what we need to do. That's what we need to do to be happy, healthy, vibrant, alive. So I encourage you to get on purpose, turn to the raw fruits and vegetables. Hey, become a raw vegan like me. I'm having a grand old time, almost two years. It's been phenomenal, two years this fall. So I highly recommend it. Thank you for being on this video with me. Thank you for listening to this message. I hope it was helpful for someone. Thank you for you know, even tuning into the concept of being a raw vegan. It could change your life, so please, leave a comment on this video and tell me what you think. Do you want to be a raw vegan? Do you want to cut those starches? Do you want to get on the raw fruits and vegetables? Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to Raw Vegan Rising because it's awesome. I will see you in the next one.